Obstructed Labor, Wikipedia Article Audio Obstructed Labor, also known as Labor Dystocia, is when, even though the uterus is contracting normally, the baby does not exit the pelvis during childbirth due to being physically blocked. Complications for the baby include not getting enough oxygen which may result in death. It increases the risk of the mother getting an infection, having uterine rupture, or having postpartum bleeding. Long-term complications for the mother include obstetrical fistula. Obstructed labor is said to result in prolonged labor, when the active phase of labor is longer than 12 hours. Cause Diagnosis Treatment Prognosis Epidemiology Etymology Other animals The main causes of obstructed labor include a large or abnormally positioned baby, a small pelvis, and problems with the birth canal. Abnormal positioning includes shoulder dystocia where the anterior shoulder does not pass easily below the pubic bone. Risk factors for a small pelvis include malnutrition and a lack of exposure to sunlight causing vitamin D deficiency. It is also more common in adolescents as the pelvis may not have finished growing. Problems with the birth canal include a narrow vagina and perineum which may be due to female genital mutilation or tumors. A partograph is often used to track labor progression and diagnose problems. This combined with physical examination may identify obstructed labor. The treatment of obstructed labor may require caesarean section or vacuum extraction with possible surgical opening of the symphysis pubis. Other measures include, keeping the women hydrated and antibiotics if the membranes have been ruptured for more than 18 hours. In Africa and Asia obstructed labor affects between 2 and 5 percent of deliveries. In 2015 about 6.5 million cases of obstructed labor or uterine rupture occurred. This resulted in 23,000 maternal deaths down from 29,000 deaths in 1990. It is also one of the leading causes of stillbirth. Most deaths due to this condition occur in the developing world. The main causes of obstructed labor include a large or abnormally positioned baby, a small pelvis, and problems with the birth canal. Abnormal positioning includes shoulder dystocia where the anterior shoulder does not pass easily below the pubic bone. Risk factors for a small pelvis include malnutrition and a lack of exposure to sunlight causing vitamin D deficiency. While problems with the birth canal include a narrow vagina and perineum which may be due to female genital mutilation or tumors. Obstructed labor may be diagnosed based on physical examination. The treatment of obstructed labor may require caesarean section or vacuum extraction with possible surgical opening of the symphysis pubis. Other measures include keeping the women hydrated and antibiotics if the membranes have been ruptured for more than 18 hours. If caesarean section is obtained in a timely manner, prognosis is good. Prolonged obstructed labor can lead to stillbirth, obstetric fistula, and maternal death. In 2013 it resulted in 19,000 maternal deaths down from 29,000 deaths in 1990. The word dystocia means difficult labor. Its antonym is eutocia or easy labor. Other terms for obstructed labor include, difficult labor, abnormal labor, difficult childbirth, abnormal childbirth, and dysfunctional labor. The term can also be used in the context of various animals. Dystocia pertaining to birds and reptiles is also called egg binding. In part due to extensive selective breeding, 
miniature horse mares experience dystocias more frequently than other breeds. Assisted Delivery, Miniature Horse Dystocia Note the position of the head. Miniature Horse Dystocia Note the position of the head. Education Material for Teachers of Midwifery, Midwifery Education Modules Geneva, World Health Organization 2008 ISBN 9789241546669